Okay, welcome to the Marketing Your Small Firm Lunchtime Webinar Series. Um, this is part four, and we're going to be focus in, focusing on project management. I'm Shevani Shevas White, Marketing Manager at Night Vision Media Limited. Um, just a little bit, you must know me by now, it's the same information. Um, I'm an entrepreneur just like you are, marketer, designer, educator, and then the big jobs, you know, being a, being a wife and a mom. Yeah, those are, those are big jobs. All right, so in the last three topics, in the last three topics um, before this, we, well, I discussed um so our first topic we had discussed was what is marketing and what we looked at we realized that marketing is not just advertising and promotions that's just one aspect or one arm of what marketing is marketing looks at the entire life of a product or a service so from since inception to development to letting the public know about it then getting some feedback from the public and then now redoing that cycle, tweaking tweaking the product um, to suit the, 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 the needs of the clients. And we do that cycle over and over again. Then we looked at resource selection. Um, so what type of staff are you hiring? What type of equipment are you getting that you're working with? You know, those things can impact um, how it is that you deliver your, your product and or service. Then we looked at the internal operations of, of your organization and more specifically, what type, of, what type of manager are you? What type of boss are you? Um, and what we find that you need to be everything. As the owner of that company, as the manager within that organization, you need to be everything to your staff. You need to be the mother, the father, the confidant, the boss, the you know, many different hats that you would have to wear in order to adjust to the different situations that arrive, right? And the way in which the, the type of manager that you are determines the work environment um, that your employees work in. So today, we're going to actually look at, um, well, continuing with looking at internal operations, we're going to look at um, how it affects productivity so what type of environment do you do you have now at night vision media limited I'm not only the marketing manager I'm also the managing director and what that means is I'm the head of operations and so my staff know that everything is surrounded around efficiency it's all about delivering efficient delivering the product to our customers efficiently so in your organization does everyone know exactly what they are to do it is one thing to say to the person you know I want you to go to the coffee shop and get me some coffee but what does that mean do they know exactly what it is that you want you know did you tell them that you want the coffee black did you tell them that you want, I don't know, I'm not a coffee person. Did you tell them that you want a mochaccino um, with two spritz of milk or sugar, two cubes of sugar or whatever? You know, you need to be specific with your instructions. As the leader of your team, as the one that is charting the course for your organization, you need to be specific in your instructions. So does everyone in your organization know exactly what they are to do? If they don't, they might make assumptions along the way and do something different from what you had asked them. Or if they don't, they might totally miss the mark. You know, um, so you have to be careful. Are they carrying out their activities? No, this is something that we as, as leaders, as business owners as entrepreneurs we always wonder is the staff doing what they are supposed to be doing and I'm gonna give you some recommendations 
as to how you can accomplish this. But at this moment, it's, it doesn't serve you well if it is that you constantly go to your employees and ask them, you know, what are you doing? Are you carrying out your activities? That doesn't help because if it is that they are working on what you have assigned them, you are slowing up their progress. But at the same time, for your peace of mind, you need to know what is happening, what is going on, right? And then the next thing is, can your clients track your progress? You know, for the client, they're not an expert in whatever it is that you are providing. That's the reason why they had come to you for your service or to get your product from, from you. You know, so they would like to also know what's happening. How long will this thing take to be delivered to me? Is it going to come in another, another week? Is it, am I going to get it in another month? Am I going to get it tomorrow? Your clients need to also be a part of the process. So again, for their peace of mind, they understand what, um, what is happening, right? So my recommendation to you is to use an online project management tool. An, an online project management tool, you are able to give, assign each person, tell them exactly what you want them to do. You are able to check on them using the tool and not necessarily going to them every minute over their shoulder asking them, you know, where are you, where are you? You can simply go to the online project management tool and simply check their, their progress to date. Um, and of course, you can also, for some online project management tools, you can invite the client into... Um, into your into the project and they will be able to see the progress of what's happening and that's something that we do at night vision media um, there are many project online project management tools out there there are clarison um, there is basecamp um, many of them microsoft projects um, but the one that I'm going to recommend, um, it's the one that we at Night Vision Media use. It's called Trello. And the cool thing with Trello is that it's, as I said, it's an online application. So no matter where you are, you have access to it. And it has an app, which is on Android um, and on iOS, on the iPhone or the iPad. So... What that means for you is that you can always track the progress of any of your projects. Track the progress of any of your employees, no matter where you are, right? Um, so my recommendation is to use Trello. Um, it's not that easy to use when you start to, when you just get introduced to it, it's not that easy to use. But once you get into it, you'll find that it's, a very it's not that complicated the, the learning curve is not it's not that high at all right it's just initially it's not as um, intuitive as you'd like it to be so when you get in there um, you can sign into you can sign into Trello sign up with Trello using your email and creating a password and when you get in there, first you want to do is to create a new organization. And that's with your staff. So all your staff members, all their email addresses, what you're going to do, you're going to click on the plus sign. Um, you're going to click on the plus sign and say new organization. And you're going to add your team members or your organization members. And it doesn't matter how many persons there are. So if your firm is very small, a.k.a. you and only one other person, even if, even if it is you are the only person in your organization, Trello is still a good way for you to track your own progress. I'm just saying. Um, or if it's a hundred of you on this team, just put in those person's email addresses and you will... It will, yes, it will create an organization for you. And the cool thing with Trello is that you can create multiple organizations, but in this scenario, I'm only recommending it for 
your business, which I assume you only have one. Many of us have more than one. Um, and um, so I'm only going to recommend it one Trello account per organization. Okay. All right. Um, now you can also create a new board and that board is, it's actually your, it's actually your project um, that you're working on. So if it is that you are baking a cake for the, for a wedding, you can simply create a project for baking that cake and you list the steps that you need to get done. If it is that you are working on a plumbing project um, for a client, again, you just list the steps that create the project, list the steps that you want to be done, assign it to whomever you want it to be assigned to, and so on and so forth. If you are um, if you're in a spa, if you own a spa and there are certain activities that you want to be done in the background, like organize the, I don't know, I don't own a spa, so I have no idea, like organize the, the nail polish and, you know, fill the, the water bucket or something, I don't know, I'm just guessing here. But you can list all of those, you can create a project. And list all of those items assign it to whomever within your organization then now within the project you can actually add lists and I recommend four lists to be created uh, to do which of course um, would hold everything that you would want to be done um, in progress which would be everything that is currently being done and then done all of the items that have been completed. So now as soon as you go into your project, you'll see a list of things and then you can make an uh, instant um, assessment as to how far you've got with your project. And then the last list that I recommend is to um, add a team. And that just, that just, I have that one in case you you invited your client into into the project, and so now the client will be like, oh, that those these are the persons that are working on my project, and um, you know, so for me at my organization it would be, you know, Chevy Chevers White, managing director, um, we have our assistant, we have our writer. And so it would name all the names and their positions. So now our client would be able to would be able to see what is happening. And then finally, within those lists, you can add cards. And the cards, um, you can add your individual tasks. Um, and as I said, you 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 add your your tasks how you want and then you can simply move them over so here is a here is an example um, of what it would look like in Trello so the test where you see me have test here to the top left hand corner of the image that would be the name of the project so I don't know you know plumbing project for clients so and so or baking for a wedding blah 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 you know um, the team, each one of these cards here, so we will have the list, team, to do, in progress, and done. And then we can click on these things that say add a card. And those will be the respective tasks that you can assign to your respective um, employees, including yourself, of course. And then you can simply drag them over to do, drag it over in, in progress, drag it over to done, so on and so forth. So it's fairly simple and what this does is it leads to a more efficient work environment and that at the end of the day is what your is what your client is looking for. Your client want to know want to want to know want to understand that you are doing everything on your part to produce the best product or the best service possible. Right? So you have already looked at the type of equipment and the type of employees, but now you need to organize those equipment and em employees 
to get the best product or service out of your organization. Makes no sense that your staff doesn't know what to do, they don't know the tasks that you need to be carried out, and so when they haven't completed it or they've completed it incorrectly, you try to blame them in the process. What we are gearing you towards, what Night Vision Media wants you to do with your small business or firm, we want you to be able to organize what it is that you are doing. Do what you do better so that you can produce the best product and or service to your client. And that's what we want at the end of the day. We want you to have a good work environment, right? So in the when everyone knows what they're supposed to do and they carry out those tasks, there is no there's no problem. They aren't they aren't sad, right? And I'm gonna use the word sad. Um, they aren't sad because you're not you're not arguing with them that they haven't done what they are supposed to do because now you have a checklist. To say this is what you need to get done and they actually can check it off like a checklist to say I have completed this I have done this you can even send messages within within Trello to each other to say okay well I haven't completed this as yet but I'm working on it or this is the hold up so you know you can set a time when you decide to check on your projects in Trello and so no your staff um, doesn't feel the pressure of someone hanging over them, their shoulders at all times. And you don't feel pressured not knowing what is happening with your staff. So what you're finding is you're going to have a happier staff. So you have, you have fostered, you have encouraged a good work environment. And your staff is happier. And when you have happier staff, what happens is there is increased productivity. And of course, when there's increased productivity, you are happier. Most importantly, your customers are happier. And when your customers are happier, the likelihood is they will stay with you and your profits will increase. And that's the ultimate goal at the end of the day. So what we recommend, um, Night Vision Media, we have various packages for our um, NV Virtual Office. And to be a little bit more efficient at what you want to do, we actually have a package. It's package number one called the assistant. And so the assistant will be able to go in, create all of these, um, create all of these projects for you because we understand when you own a small business, you are literally the head cook and bottle washer, right? And so what we want to do for you we want to alleviate some of that stress. Um, you focus on what it is that you are good at. You know, you are an expert in your field. So whether it's baking, whether it's being a plumber, whether it's being a designer or an animator, it's being a writer, being a lawyer, you know, whatever it is that you are the expert at, we want you to continue being an expert because that's what you know. Right, And so you can venture out and use this tool that we're recommending to you, Trello.com. But if you find that you don't have the time to do all of these things, plus being the expert in your field, you can always give us a call um, and ask us more about our assistant package. And it includes a lot of things. Um, we can book appointments and set meetings for you. We can handle your package so packages so um, and mail so if you need an address for items to be delivered to you you can use um, two fairway avenue and we will the assistant will collect your packages place them in a spot for you and then when you are ready you can come in on your own time and collect your mail handling phones so answer your calls um, she can build your quotations for you. Granted, those come with a little bit of conditions, but when you call us or email us, we can tell you a little bit more about those conditions. 
you get um, phone line access. So you don't have to worry about using your personal phone for as your business contact. You can use our phone lines and we have both Lime and Digicel available for your customers to call. And then of course, email handling. Um, and that's at a minimal charge of 100 US dollars per month. If you wanna see our brochure, find out a little bit more about our NV virtual office service, you can always go to http colon forward slash forward slash issue dot com slash nvvo and issue is spelled i s s u u dot com um, and to find us is nvvo now um, our next scheduled um, scheduled meeting or scheduled webinar for this series will be May eighteen. And what we'll be looking at is communications, whether it is internal or external communications. Um, so how does that, how does that, how does your internal operations affects interactions with your customers? Um, in you know, we we'll giving you a little bit more detail on that. So you can join us on May eighteenth. So you can find out a little bit more as to how to handle communications within your organization. You can also sign up for our following webinar, which will be on June 15th. And that's going to look at, that's, that's the topic that everybody likes to know about advertising and promotions. Because we all think that marketing is really advertising and promotions. So that's a little exciting topic there. Um, and if you want to register for our for our series you can do so at any time just go to the link that i've provided you and you will see a calendar come up you simply click on the date and put in your information and you're registered and you can actually register for multiple me meetings or multiple webinars um, using the link provided so um, for those of you who um, joined us on youtube or on slideshare you already know but um, what we've done, all of our webinars, we've done a recording of it. Um, and you can visit our YouTube playlist. Um, and I've provided you with that link. So you can always check, um, check on our YouTube playlist for the recordings of these webinars. This one will be available by the end of the week. Um, we should have the recording available on YouTube, on our YouTube playlist. And the presentation itself will be available on SlideShare in my personal SlideShare account, which is slideshare.net slash Chevonese White. If you have any questions as usual, you can always link me on Twitter or on Facebook. On Twitter, I am at Chevy NVML and on Facebook, it's Chevonese White. Um, and that's it. All of our contact information, if you want to link us through the virtual office or if you want to get to know the young lady who is at the virtual who is actually op uh, operating the virtual office can simply give us a call at 792-7107 or 873-6635 um, we're available on multiple platforms so you can also email us the nvvo at nightvisionmedia.com on facebook um, just look for the nvvo Twitter, the NVVO, and on Skype, the NVVO. I don't know if you're realizing there's a pattern there, right? The NVVO. So I'd like to thank you for your time um, and join us for our next webinar series. Thank you.